From Hollywood, this is Money TV. I'm Don Belarjan. Thanks for joining us once again. Money TV is a program all about money and what makes it happen. Well, as we sit here firmly in the fourth quarter of 2016, there are more and more analysts starting to see the Dow Jones Industrial Average and the S&P 500 as a couple of big vulnerable bubbles. CNBC, The New York Times, Fortune Magazine, and TheStreet.com are all agreeing on one thing. The economy has been slowing down for all of 2016. Now, that's not good news as the so-called recovery, which has already been the slowest since World War II, has things just not feeling right for middle America and the ever-shrinking middle class. Now, a study by J.P. Morgan Chase revealed that small businesses, which are the backbone of the U.S. jobs market, have serious cash reserves issues. A full 25% of small businesses have less than two weeks of cash reserves, and half of them have a month or less. Now, we're not going to hear about this from the news media because they're spending all of their time covering the 2016 election circus, which has succeeded in becoming more and more ridiculous and embarrassing as the final days tick down. Now, despite the weak September employment numbers, jobs weren't even mentioned in the news media, and if small businesses continue to struggle with cash flow, the first thing to disappear will be jobs as small business owners struggle to keep the doors open. So as the bought and paid for puppet media concentrates on which candidate possesses the most egregious character flaws, Wall Street analysts are preparing themselves for a possible coming storm. Some are predicting a market crash on the big boards of epic proportions. Analysts such as Michael Markowski are concerned that both the bond market and the S&P 500 have hit all-time highs in third quarter. That's the first time that has ever happened simultaneously. Now, bonds and stocks have always had an inverse relationship, meaning when one was up, the other was down. That's no longer the case. That's dangerous for investors because one has historically been the safety net for the other. When bond prices were low, investors sold stocks at a profit to buy the lower the priced bonds and vice versa. With both at all-time highs, the safety net is gone. Now, a change in interest rates up or down, some geopolitical event, even the outcome of the polarizing presidential election all have the potential to trigger a massive sell-off of big cap stocks or bonds. So whatever Trump said in 2005 or Clinton did in 2008 isn't going to have any bearing on our financial lives. Americans used to vote with their wallet. This time they seem to be voting with their social media. Now here's something that doesn't require any voting whatsoever. It's our toll-free number. Good from anywhere in the world you're watching the program, 888-259-4449. Toll free from anywhere in the world to get free information about our featured guests. When you do call, be sure and ask to be added to the subscription list of our Money TV newsletter. That's also free. Again, toll free, 888 Visit us at moneytv.net. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.